let's talk about the treatment of MDR TB or multi drug resistant TB. So, what is MDR TB? Anytime a patient has resistance to INH and rifampicin with or without resistance to any other first line drug, that is your multi drug resistant TB. So, there are two ways you can treat MDR TB one is STR, short term regimen, one is LTR long-term regimen. In this video, I will talk about both, so stay tuned. First, let's talk about STR. Uh, what are the eligibility criteria? Uh, the criteria are, first of all, exposure. The patient should not have been exposed to any drug used in the STR for more than one month. So exposure must be less than one month. There should not be any resistance to any drugs used in the STR, and this can be um, identified by doing the DST or LPA. DST is drug sensitivity testing. LPA is the line probesia. And the severity, the disease must not be very severe. The disease should be uh, mild to moderate. If there is severe pulmonary TB or extra pulmonary TB, then uh, we have to give LTR. Severe pulmonary TB or severe extra pulmonary TB. The patient should not be pregnant and the age must be six years. Those are the eligibility criteria for a patient taking LTR. Whenever any of these criteria are not, are not met, the patient should go to LTR. So you can easily identify, easily identify the criteria for LTR from the criteria of STR. Anyone who does not match the criteria of STR should take or should receive LTR. What's the regimen? The total duration is nine to 11 months, and the intensive phase is four to six months, depending on the resistance or depending on the sputum smear uh, results at the end of four months. If the sputum smear is positive up at the end of four months, we can continue another two months. And the continuation phase is fixed at five months. So what are the drugs? Uh, in the intensive phase, we use seven drugs. And in the continuation phase, from the seven drugs, we exclude three and continue the other four. So what are the seven drugs? For remembering those seven drugs, I have a mnemonic, EPLC, the four main drugs or four pillars, which will be continued in the continuation phase, not only intensive, but also continuation phase, and the BEH, which is only given in the intensive phase. So what are included in the EPLC for E? Ethambutol for P, parazinamide for L, levofloxacin for C, clofazimin. That is EPLC, English Premier League. English Premier League and C. Uh, ethambutol, parazinamide, levofloxacin, and clofazimin. And the BH includes badaquiline, ethanamide, and high dose INH. Although there is INH resistance, we're still using it, but at a higher dose. And the continuation phase is the same, EPLC, we have to exclude BEH, and we have to continue with EPLC, ethambutol, parazinamide, levofloxacin, and clofazimine. So that's all about STR. Let's talk about LTR. So when should we give LTR? The basic ideas are any anytime someone is not eligible for STR should receive LTR, such as if the patient has drug exposure more than one month, if there is resistance, such as resistance to quinolone or any other drugs other than INH used in the STR, if the disease is severe, severe pulmonary disease or severe extra pulmonary disease. What's the regimen? The regimen is different where uh, the total duration is 20 months compared to the 11 months. The 20 months is divided into the intensive phase of six months and a continuation phase of 14 months, so six and 14. And the treatment differs based on the susceptibility on quinolone. If the patient is quinolone susceptible, the intensive phase will include BCL and ZL. BCL and ZL in the intensive phase. And I'll talk about what is BCL and ZL in a minute. In the continuation phase, just exclude B. So you have to know the BCL and ZL. B, obviously, bedaquilin. C, what is C? C is clofazamine. L, live, uh, L, hello? Um, uh, linezolite, yes. So bedaquilin, clofazamine, linezolite. Bedaquilin, clofazamine, 
linezolid. Z is pyrazinamide. And L, this is levofloxacin. As this patient is quinolone susceptible, we have to give levofloxacin. But if the patient becomes quinolone resistant, we stop giving levofloxacin, we start, start DCS. What is DCS? Delaminide and cycloserine. Delaminide and cyclosterine instead of levofloxacin. And in the continuation phase, we will exclude BD and continue the other drugs. So uh, let's talk about them in detail. So in quinolone susceptible people, you have to use levofloxacin, which is a quinolone. And the main drugs in the uh, initiative phase or intensive phase is the BCL-ZL. And the BCL, as I mentioned before, betaquiline, clofazamine, linezolid. Those three are the main structures, BCL. And then parazinamide and then levofloxacin is the last L. And in the continuation phase, you just stop betaquiline and all the other drugs will be uh, used to CLZL. I think it's a better, better one, CLZL. In case of quinolone resistance, don't use L, rather use DCS. So the first four drugs will remain the same. Betaquiline, clofazamine, linezolid, and parazinamide. All the drugs are used in patients with quinolone susceptible, so those four. But what do you change? You change levofloxacin and you add delaminide and cycloserine. In the continuation phase, just exclude BD and write down the names of the other drugs. So you have to exclude betaquiline and exclude delaminide and use the other four drugs. That's all.